Uh, we have a warp that's separated every other strand at the back. So you see there's the back. And um, to start the plate row, we take two from the back, bring them clockwise around and up, and this front one goes to the back. Now just one, We come to the end of row one and two from the front go down behind that thread from the back that came up. Um, there's a little twist that I have to push down. And I take a stick and I put it in that twist down there. And I take another stick and I put it right here. And we start with row two. Row two starts with one from the back going up front one going down. I'm just ending with one. And that is the second row. You push the twist down and put the stick in. Put the stick in at the bottom of the fabric where there's twist building up in mirror image. And I'll just pull this fabric and you can see how stretchy it is. The colors on this are pretty subtle. This is hand spun that I hand dyed. This um, the back threads were um, matter, and the front threads were mostly goldenrod. All this is goldenrod. It's slightly yellow. This is slightly pink. And uh, using a warp of two different colors can really help when you're starting out because you know what was in the back and where it's going and what's going from the front to the back in sprung. And I'll show you. There's a row of matter, a row of goldenrod, matter, goldenrod, but up here, instead of it being like that, it's, um, every other one shows different colors and it's uh, more checkered. Alright, thank you.